It's a games console dance mat, but something doesn't add up. The suspected cocaine smuggler picked out by the sniffer dogs is now being searched. They did this over there, so it doesn't matter what, um, Sorry. what you pack it back or whatever. Right, oh, OK. Because they pretty much messed it up. Who was that? They checked the bags and whatever across there. They checked them before you came yeah. out, did they? they right. Did the same thing. Oh, OK. So they pretty much messed it up. So. Right. With three separate sniffer dog indications on the bags. OK, I just needed a quick x-ray of your suitcase, all right? Yeah. UK border officer Fitz is convinced he'll find something inside. All right, doesn't seem to give us that much information about it, so probably have to do a further examination. I'll take it to the tool room and have a look, have a closer look, actually. Surprisingly, Fitz can find no sign of cocaine. And even the drug swab is clear. Right, they actually ascertain there's nothing in there. No, which is a bit of a shame, really. Because it was a good indication by the dogs, I must admit. It's disappointing, but with such strong suspicions, Fitz isn't willing to give up the search just yet. That's the that you plug into the television. Right. It's a games console dance mat, but something doesn't add up. Has you got a PlayStation with it? No. So why do you have one of these anyway? Yeah. All right, round two. <laughs> I mean, it is heavy as hell. Fitz then spots the clue he's been after. The actual casing looks like it's already been removed once before. It's like a sniffer dog. It's just looking for minute particles of uh, substances that are stepping in stock high. It's got to be there. Suspicions are now even higher, but where are the drugs? This is that rubber impregnation. That's what I think it is. Mm. Ever seen it in a dance mat? Have you tried doing it on that? You can break the yeah, that's what, um... Can you break a bit off of it? No, you can do if you want to. The material's gone blue. Oh. Mm. I'm kind of saying that's a positive then. Amazingly, the rubber inside the dance mat is full of cocaine. Uh, the time is uh, ten past ten. And I'm arresting you on suspicion of being involved in the importation of a controlled drug. It just goes to show, with smugglers using ever more devious methods, the officers can take nothing for granted. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Okay. The officer's persistence has paid off and yet another smuggler has been caught red-handed. Uh, north. The drugs were ingeniously hidden, and one member of the team deserves a special reward. Knock yourself out, you little star. Well, he's just had his second job in three days to um, cocaine detections, which is unprecedented for such a new dog. He's only been in the job for six months. It's, it's brilliant. But in the meantime, he's going to get this as a treat, because it's just an unbelievable job for such a young dog. And while Barney enjoyed his bone, the woman won't be enjoying her freedom. She pleaded guilty and could be facing around 10 years in prison. In Gatwick's North Terminal, officers working in immigration have concerns about one particular passenger. As he collects his suitcase from the luggage carousel, Officer Paul escorts him through to the customs channels. Do you have anything to declare to customs? Cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, firearms? One bottle of alcohol, One bottle of alcohol. OK. Sniffer dog Bren also shows an interest in the passenger. He showed an awful lot of interest in this gentleman here. It didn't, it didn't such indicate, but it gave me enough information to say, yeah, I'm, I, I want that looked at. OK, sir, please ask some questions about your luggage. Has anybody given you anything at all yeah. to bring here? Yeah, I'm yeah. from Trinidad. OK. So when did you arrange this trip? Well, she arranged this trip last month. Last month? Yeah, she yeah. told me last time she was, she was in Trinidad to get her passport and she was invited to come up. And who bought your ticket? She, she did. Yes. Do you know what she does for work? Pardon? Do you know what your auntie does for work here? No. No, you don't know that. Paul conducts a thorough search of the man's bags for any signs of drugs. 
from Trinidad, you're a fisherman, yeah? Yeah. yeah? And how much do you get paid doing that then? Well, I'm self-employed. You're self-employed. So, Depends how many fish you catch. Depends on how many fish. So what are you intending to do while you're here? Just visit. And what made you want to visit this country? Well, my, my aunt, she told me to come up and see the autumn, how about the leaders fall and what's not. But the man's story about the seasons doesn't convince. So you've come here to see autumn, have you? Your first time of travel. So you've never even been to another Caribbean island or anything. I can leave that with you and I'll have a chat with my boss and I'll be back with you in a minute, alright? Just ticking a lot of boxes, mate. Yeah. Um, very potentially uh, um, third parties, Auntie bought the ticket, it's got 300 Trinidad and Tobago dollars with it. That's it. It's never even travelled abroad before. The dog is so interesting. On his body. This groin area, should we do strip? Yeah, do yeah, strip. Yeah. Hello, sir. I want to do a search on you, okay? To make sure you don't have anything on your body. What we'll do is we'll go to a private room, okay? Suspecting he may have swallowed packages of drugs, the man is led away for further investigation. What I want to do on you is strip search, okay? Because dogs showed an interest around the groin area, okay? Okay, okay. I understand. Officer Paul conducts a thorough search of the passenger, but he's not found to be hiding anything. You're not intending to stay here, no? No. You sure? Positively sure about that. But you don't have a return ticket, no? They told me I have to return on the 14th of, of um, November. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't get any um, thing as yet, so. There's one final way of finding out whether the man is smuggling drugs inside his body. Another way people can bring drugs in the country is to have it inside them. Inside. Yeah. Oh. We have a machine which can, can do an x-ray. Are you okay to do that for us? Why not? Why not? Okay, good man. The fisherman volunteers to do a full body x-ray. It will take just moments to find out if he's got drugs inside him. Well, come up here and I'll show you. Right, this is conveyor belt, okay? Okay, so you're going to stand on this, stand up here, and it's going to move when I say, Face this way. Face, no, face this way. All right, come closer to me here. That's it, legs apart a bit more. All right, you need to stay very still, otherwise it won't work, I'm gonna have to do it again, okay? All right, so going now. Breathe, and breathe out. Okay, sir, thank you very much. Despite their suspicions, this time, the x-ray shows there are no packages inside the man's yeah. body. My colleague upstairs is, still has an interest in you, okay? He's basically a fisherman in Trinidad and Tobago. He doesn't earn very much money. His ticket was bought yesterday by a third party, which is supposedly an auntie, but he doesn't know what that auntie even does for a job or anything like that. Basically, his, his story and his reasons for coming here not only drew our attention, but also the immigration officials upstairs. So unless possibly they, they can find this auntie and she could substantiate while he's here, why he's here, um, and maybe on the next flight home, we'll have to see. The man was questioned further by officers in immigration and was eventually denied entry into the UK. Ben is questioning a Polish vehicle, looking for any clues that they may have something to hide. How much money have you brought to England with you? 3,000. And are you t how much are you taking back to Poland now? How much money do you have left? 1,600. Is that between all of you, yes? No, no, no. 1,600 pounds each? Yeah. Ben thinks the group are telling lies. So you each brought 3,000 pounds to England, yeah. Yeah. and you all back take 1,600 back with you. And it's all in 50 pound notes as well? Yeah. And where, where did you get the money from then? From Polish exchange fund. And they, they just gave it in 50s, not in smaller? OK, that's good. If you can bring your money and yourselves and come out the car and then we go. The specially trained sniffer dog will now search the Polish vehicle for cash to see if the passengers are telling the truth. As Miller and dog handler Bo search the car, Ben presses the passengers on their story. So what have you spent your money on while you've been here in England? And our fun. Clubs and drinking and stuff like that. OK, and you've... But you've all got 1,600. The car is clear. But Miller picks up a cent in one of the rucksacks. Is there more money in that bag? No? 
Just show me this bag. The man denies having any more cash, but Miller has found an envelope which gives Ben reason to believe the group are lying to him. So that's where money's been. Was that in this bag, is it? All right. It's wages or? Yeah, wages. That's had money in, is what I'm saying. Yeah, it was. This, it was. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's, was. Why the, yeah, was. that's why the dog yeah. smells it. So have you been working in England then? I thought you came here on holiday. Yeah, it was You were on, who was on holiday? Yeah. But not you. You yeah, you yeah. work in England. So why didn't you say you work in England? Do you all work in England? No. I'm not very Are you sure? It's not a problem if you work in England. I'd, just tell me if you do. You don't work in England. You're on holiday. Yeah. So it's not wages that you're taking back to Poland. You sure? Yeah. What about yours? Is yours wages that you take home? Because it 859, 803, 1600 pounds, 1600 pounds, 16. So do you work in England or not? Yes, yeah, I think no, you work yes, in England. Yes, yes. So why you say you don't work don't in England? Know. It's not a problem now. You're no. Polish. You can work in England. Okay. Yeah. yeah? Okay. So you do work in England. Yeah, sorry for so if it hadn't been for your wage slips, you'd have been all right. The needless lie has been uncovered. Obviously now, the Poland's in the European Union. They can work in the UK, but for whatever reason, I don't know whether they're scared to tell us the truth that they're actually working here, or whether it's just a case of they don't want to say how much money they're taking out of the country. So they've all come out with the story that they've come here on holiday, each got £1,600 left, and then they're taking it back to Poland. So it didn't really ring true. 1600 1600 OK? It's clever, really, because sometimes that happens, you know, someone lies about the amount of money they've got and then the dog will indicate on an item of paperwork that's been with their money, which is obviously why the dog indicated. It's a barefaced lie which officers are used to. Sometimes we don't know why they lie, but sometimes we do find it out and it's, it's the smallest of reasons, really. The passengers have done nothing illegal and are free to go.